The main aim of this short video is to show a post-surgical nerve entrapment of the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve, but let's go through some anatomy first. The superficial perineal nerve exits the deep fascia in the lower lateral third of the leg. It can come out as one or two branches. Either way, it will form two branches. It goes forward into the dorsal medial aspect of the foot. In the foot, the two branches are known as the medial and the intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerves, and the sural nerve, which you can just see on the lateral aspect of that picture, becomes the lateral dorsal cutaneous nerve. The deep perineal nerve is what's left, and that supplies the cleft ID12 with skin innervation. Here's just a short picture coming up from Vincent Hetherington's 1994 excellent book, excellent but old but still really good, showing the um, dorsal medial cutaneous nerve as it goes forward into the great toe. And then a couple of slides from one of the regular lectures that I give on steroid injections for nerve entrapments. And sometimes you will see irritation of the medial dorsal cutaneous nerve secondary to a bunion deformity. In fact, it's quite common to see some numbness and occasionally some pain um, in the course of the nerve where it's irritated underneath the shoe and over the bunion bump. And this particular case didn't settle down with uh, wider footwear, but did settle down with a shot of steroid. So there was a um, shot of steroid to the point of maximal tenderness, the proximal nail fold, which is the shaded areas where this particular patient suffered the pain when you tapped over the bunion bump. But the main effort of this video is to show a surgical nerve entrapment following four bunion surgeries and short video coming up. Um, this patient's had surgery to fuse the big toe and he's actually had multiple surgeries. You can see there's a surgery site there, but he's actually had um, a Keller's arthroplasty originally and then converted a further three surgeries to effusion. So it was a bit of a tricky one. Toe is in a nice position. He's got some arthritis in the hallux interphalangeal joint. But why this is interesting is there's the scar and it's a dorsal medial scar. Now, normally I'd say... I would recommend that we, if we're going into the first MTPJ, that we cut either dorsally or medially. Here is where we've got the dorsal medial cutaneous nerve. And this young patient, the scar, you can hear him grumbling in the background. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I've got to Sorry. do this again for the camera. It's all right. Okay, so we'll have a few oohs and ahs for the camera if we can. <laughs> and you saw all along there. So a nerve entrapment of the dorsal medial cutaneous nerve, which is the most medial branch of the superficial perineal nerve, now, we're not going to start to call that Riley's neuroma because that would be really rather inglorious of me. But if other people want to start calling it that, then that's absolutely fine. And um, nerve entrapment.